Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode adventure. If you join us, we are still here in Black River. We're just picking off our last outpost. One more to go. And then we're going to finish off our drainage task. And then after that, we're going to look to start clearing some of these roadblocks. It is well overdue. Get out there and make some moves. Get stuff done. I think things are going, going reasonably well. We've gotten this far without rolling our Land Rover. And yes, this absolute beast is a Land Rover. She's uh, She's been through some stuff. Been through some changes. But she's done us proud. Done us proud. And eventually we'll take her out into the uh, island lakes and um, she'll smash through some more outposts, collect us some more upgrades as we go. Ooh, we've run out of fuel, that's a classic. It's not an issue, we have loads. But that is something that we do. That's why we have to carry so much. Because we just let it run dry. Spoil our little in cab moment, but never mind. You have to be a little bit careful on the on the asphalt with these tires. They are not great for on road. I think they said average. So it should be fine, but off-road, in the dirt and the mud, they are monsters. And that's why we need them for Island Lake. Because that is all mud. So here's our, our last outpost that we're after. then once we get there you'll see just off out in the distance there will be a truck to recover I believe it's a Chevy Kodiak that one's not for us that one's for the farmer later on but there is one out there for us and we'll be looking to recover some more vehicles pretty soon once we've got the roads cleared once we've got the roads here and in Smithville Dam cleared we can bring the Pacific through the P16 and then we'll be good for our vehicle recoveries excuse me right so with that being our last outpost we are ready to finish off drainage now I think we ran an extra hour yesterday, I think it was nearly 9 o'clock before we finished, but that, that happens sometimes. We aim for around about an hour, looking to do sort of 8 till 8, but sometimes we finish early, sometimes we finish late. I guess if I was that fussed about it, I could always just sit and run the clock through, so have a fresh day at 8 every time, but... I'm not that overly concerned. It's just a nice premise to have. So we just push straight on over. Like I say, light work now. Light work. We may even be able to recover the... the CK for the farm, actually. We may have enough pulling power for that. Because we will get stuck in the mud, will we? That's for certain. Let's 
just over there. Ooh, should we give it a crack? Should we deviate from the plan? Why not? That'll earn us a little extra XP and a little extra finances because we've not got a lot of, a lot of cash at the minute. And we're going to be bringing in some trucks that we want to upgrade. That's why we needed to get this one done. The, uh, the drainage. To earn ourselves a penny. I mean, we've got uh, one or two simple deliveries. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not good. One or two simple deliveries to go. If we have to keep jumping back in to upgrade the truck, obviously that takes up time. Go back in. Tracking. A winch on. Get in the correct gear. <laughs> That'll help. Just heave her over to the farm. They'll be pleased with this. I'm pleased with this. Bad at all. So that's 1100 in our pocket and another 180, bringing us up to four grand. That's not a lot when it comes to upgrading these trucks that we got to do. So we'll put uh, drainage back on. I know where it is, but we'll, we'll stick it on. So just so you can see where we're at while we're in the map, we've got obviously. Uh, fallen power line there we need to clear we've got a rock slide over there we're going to look to clear the mountain bridge hopefully we'll get started on that today and possibly even do the wood bridge since that's a pretty simple one and then there's the roadblock so yeah it should be uh, should be all quite doable as long as I don't faff about too much We can get these trucks sorted and then we can uh, try and have it so we, we're bringing most of what we need in one go. There's plenty of trailers about. We get a flatbed on the back of the Fleet Star and we should be fine. Ensuring that we have enough, enough money for a loading crane, that's the, the thing. She's fun to drive now. Now we should be able to, I think, if we go up here. Avoid a lot of that mud now. Pretty certain of it. Or we can just drop straight into the mud. always do that with the, the bigger trucks but with a little scout and get about
little bit risky that one. So getting out the sign as we go. Now we could have left this last one until we come to collect the truck that's out here. Like I say, we need the finances, we need the XP. We do not have enough in us, I don't think, to uh, try and pull this truck though. That would be pretty amazing if we did. Three grand. That's that's a big help. That's why we wanted that one done. And 180 on the XP. Should we see if we can pull it? I think it's empty, sort of fuel-wise. But we'll, uh, we can see if we can get that going. No, we need more than that. Okay, that's fine. We'll get that for them another day. So what we want to do is just get our scout probably parked up at the garage and then we'll jump to the GMC and we'll bring the GMC back and then use that to repair the Fleet Star. Take a little bit of a drier route again. We'll take some trucks through that mud, don't you worry. It'll happen. up here out of the way we will refuel okay so sorting that fleet star out is our next goal we want to come in jump to GMC Now this is as highway truck as a highway truck can be at the minute. So 
is not built for any sort of mudding and off road. I'm not gonna preemptively get any wood or anything like that. I just want to get this back. We'll grab the uh, fuel tanker. We'll take that back to our garage for us. Because we need to refuel the fleet with it. I'm sure once you get a few upgrades on this, this is pretty decent. I've never really given it a chance. Always either just sat in my garage, being sold, or suck a low hitch on it and used it to pull one trailer its whole life in, in my normal play cycles. But that's because I usually have all the DLCs that are active, they're normally all in my garage and um, plenty of mod trucks to uh, play around with. We don't have that. This is hard mode. We've got what we're given and then what we can afford to buy. Which at the minute is nothing. And until we've recovered our own Kodiak, the Western Star, or brought the P-16 back here, we're going to need it. just get rid of that just because they really annoy me those markers when we don't want them I like a clean new HUD I'd like it if we could not have the markers on wall actually having a contract activated I don't know if there's somewhere in the settings I can do that but that'd be nice Especially for hard mode. Like actually having to find where you got to go properly, rather than it being pointed out on screen, that'd be good. <coughs> Excuse me. The fuel trailer. It's not the fuel trailer. The fuel trailer is in the next one. So we've at least got enough oomph to uh, get out of here. See if we can pull that. There we go. Let's get moving. Well, this is my concern. I was bogged down early with this. Trying to get ourselves up on the firmer ground because we would just get buried.
I've seen a few other people do similar things with this truck and not have as many issues as I probably have. I just think I I don't have the the right line in and out for uh, bringing that trailer. now hopefully we'll be fine once we can get up on the tarmac it's not going to be quick She will get it done. She's really nice on the inside. Just do like the inside here. The detail. Absolutely lovely. Beautiful truck. Just not much up to much cop when you first get it. Let's get moving. We're going to be doing a lot of work through the night, I think. Hopefully we're going to do a lot of work through the night. Perhaps I need to adjust my time so we'll start at 7 instead. So I'll feel like I've got a little bit more daylight to work with. Although it'll be exactly the same. It's just because the night becomes the meat. You have a little bit of daylight at the start, a little bit of daylight at the end. because I'm quite awkward Just touch that there Service trailer, my maintenance trailer. Yeah. This will have everything in that we need. Fix the fleet star. So if we go repair fleet star, and it needs everything like that truck is completely obliterated. Absolutely good. Gonna use it to repair the Land Rover as well. And we could even fix whatever we broke here because we did break some bits. Go into patch. Bring this back to the garage. We got some trucks, guys. We got some trucks. Finally, we'll turn the engine off. I don't want to waste the fuel. Um, we will. Refuel. Change truck. Then we need to refuel here. There we have my favourite truck. Now a lot of people, you know, will tell you it's not a great truck. It's not a great truck. I, I'm just in love with it because. It just gets the job done, and I'm all about that. So we'll recover it.
We will then uh, jump out. We will get back in the GMC. We'll recover it. We'll get with customizations. And to start with, we are going to take off the flatbed. Or the sideboard bed, sorry. And we are... Got a few extras, as you can see here. We're just going to put on the low saddle. That is free, so we'll have that. I don't want to worry about anything else. I don't think a little while. I'm going to keep that because I think that goes on something else. So we'll wait and see. A winch, tires, suspension. We might come back and have a little look at what we can do after we've done the fleet style, but we just wanted to take those things off. Right, then what we are... Miscellaneous. We get rid of those. We can have that money back. Plus a few quid. Anything else extra on here? Vendors. We can sell them. Every little helps. There was nothing on the rooftop. Front side, nothing. No. Okay. So we're gonna I want a blue. I want blue to like be the theme of our team. Team theme. So we go with that. That'll be where we're at here. Okay, so then we're gonna sort out the fleet star. Customize. Here we have got some extras and we'll sell the old engine, because that's not gonna be needed for anything. We'll put the off-road on, sell the balanced. Raised, sell stock. Diflock is already engageable. So I think we've got a Diflock that we can put on our other one. I'm not certain if we should keep it if that's a, a part that works for other things. Uh, we don't want to put our engageable all-wheel drive in. We'll sell rear wheel. Right, frame add-ons. We need the sideboard trader on here. And we also want a loader crane. I might go with a customizable one. This is much the same as the base one. Whereas the uh, the base loot we got this one here as well. This one is a mini crane. This isn't as strong. And you've got this loading crane here. We're going to go with the uh, the other one because, well, it's cheaper, but also uh, it'll be the same colour as when we paint the truck. We'll get that on. Nine grand. Okay, we're going to put the snorkel on. Don't want that utilities part. Not too worried about the spare wheel. Tires. Oh, where do we need? We need to be rank six for some better tires. Okay. Well, what we we'll just go for larger tires then. I think for the minute. It might seem like a waste, but it's just that little extra clearance sometimes. Yeah. definitely torn on that one no we'll leave it we'll leave we'll see what we can do if we do get stuck then uh, we'll just have to go with it right but what we would like here don't want to race beacon we can get rid of the fenders we don't need them if we can i would like some extra lights just so we can see a little bit better that's what would have been nice. What can we get on the front bumper? Just a standard front bumper. Yeah, we want one of these. 10 and 11. We've got to wait a little while for them. We'll go with the exhaust.
We did put the stalker on, didn't we? I do have to check. We are wasting daylight, I know. Right, so we'll paint it. It was blue. Right, so then back to the GMC. It does have a race suspension. I don't think I want to put it on there. I'm just going to wait. I am going to wait. Okay, so that is that is as good. I'm gonna leave the garage in the GMC. tank on the back of this because we're going to take the fuel tank here into town with us eventually and we'll do it with the GMC because we need the GMC to attach to a flatbed that has a load of goods on it that we want Uh, the GMC hasn't got enough oomph to pull that trailer along with it, that was the trouble. Would be nice if we had a little bit more juice on us, but we don't. So then we're going to jump back into the garage. I'm on controller, so I've got to click down. We'll get the Fleet Star out. So our first job that we're going to do is farming tools. And all we have to do for that is to take this curtain cider over here, take that down to the farm. Now I'm not going to preempt jobs either, so we're not going to go to the farm and just start unloading things or take things to the farm that we've not been told we need. Whether that's a smart idea or not, I don't know. But I think until you've got the job, we won't know what we're supposed to have, will we? Or what we're supposed to have, I should say. some lights so this is why I want some extra lights because there's not a lot of lights on this truck really need the all wheel. I mean, it's, it's good for pace. We'd get us there a little bit quicker, but fuel-wise, we want to try and stretch our fuel where we can at the minute. Especially while we're still setting up our logistics. that we're not at level at level six so that I can get my all terrain. I really want some off road is what we want. Having to fight with everything. Not my uh, not my idea of fun, not gonna lie.
there we go. We've got a thousand for that and 130 XP. So next job on here, we've got wet harvest, which is to bring uh, bricks, wooden planks, and metal beams to the farm. But we also have what do we have down here consumables, wooden planks, and a fuel trailer. Now the fuel trailer's over there. But I would like to have the trailer that's got the wooden planks on. I think what we're going to do is the all and power lines. We're going to clear that road. We want metal, ble metal beams and concrete blocks. Now I feel sure. Start tracking. We have concrete. I, th I thought we had concrete blocks on this trailer, but we don't, do we? On this trailer. There's our trailer. What's on here? That's got concrete blocks. So that's what we're going to get. We'll take out that fallen power line. That's what I like about the hard mode is you've got to remember where stuff is and got to go and get it. The places that supply it will show up. I don't think if you have the resources just laying around, they don't show. So you have to remember what you've got in your trailers and where. Especially since that way you don't have to then pay for anything. And this will then free up a trailer for us, I think. Although this isn't a trailer we necessarily want. trailer up here. It's the one I ever, ever really use. I don't know why. I just prefer the sideboards. Whereas I think this one that I'm about to collect is probably secure, more secure than the sideboard because it has the uh, side struts on it. I'm just not a fan of them. I think because loading in and out manually is a bit of a chore and we'll be off to do a bit of that. We're definitely going to do a whole lot of manual loading. You're going to find that most of our trucks, if they will afford us to have a crane and some sort of bed on the back, they will. Especially if they'll allow us to do crane, bed and trailer. Which is one of the, the good things about the fleet style, is it affords us all of that. The, uh, the White Western, which is considered the better truck of this uh, Michigan man for these sort of things doesn't afford for um, a trailer. If you put the crane and the bed on the back, you can't pull a trailer with it. The overhang is too much, whereas with the fleet style you can. And I think the GMC will allow it as well, but we don't really do that with the GMC. Probably should take a little bit more care coming through there. Little wheel on just to get that up. That is heavy. And we're going to get heavier.
need to keep track of our levels as well as we're ticking off some of these jobs. As soon as we can get some different tyres, some all terrains, then we'll put them on. Like I say, I really would like the off roads, but that's not happening. Maybe if we had pushed on and gone into uh, Island Lake, then maybe we would have been closer to it. I just felt that the landy as it was, without the big tyres, wouldn't really meet the challenge. If we find that we start to struggle here and we do need the XP and we do need a little extra penny, we will jump back in the Land Rover and we will hoss over and we'll try and do that. Yeah. Island Lakes and we'll also maybe tackle one or two of the other uh, little scout challenges that are about that will bring us the extra XP. I do not think with these tyres we'll be able to pull this trailer out with uh, all four slabs on. We'll give it a try. I don't think we will. Maybe. Okay. Well, in that case, this is just picked up. Unpack our cargo. Park alongside it. We'll load the metal beams in here. Now, if I remember rightly. The, the crane has I'm sure this crane has a wide anchor yeah that'll be alright that'll be fine one that usually worries too much about how tidily we, we drop these in. I'm not going to lie. Because I am uh, one of these people that just drop it in, pack it up, and off we go. Let's restore our crate.
I want to try and give it a wide berth. Bring that out to me. Hopefully. So we'll clear ourselves uh, some Roblox, shall we? Finally. And we'll give ourselves all the assistance we can. We're still going to need it. We'll get there. It's just going to need a little effort. Again, the fleet star. The little trump that just does. <laughs> but we're not just going to be fleet star heavy like I normally am. Because it's, it's not going to be possible. We're going to have to use the other vehicles to do stuff. Because it just won't be efficient as well. You know, this the, the fleet style will just do it, but we'll we'll burn so much fuel just trying to force this little truck to do things slightly beyond its uh, power capabilities. Beautiful looking truck as well. Set on four wheel drive now as well. Pick up a bit of pace. So, belt beams in, two blocks, and that's 1500 and 200 XP. So nearly up to 10 grand. So, where are we level wise? We're still on level four. So, what I'm going to need to do is just detach the trailer for a second. Let's turn myself around. Now, we need to head into town. Because we've got a bridge that needs building and that needs metal. I will pop that up. Mountain bridge. So that'll take us all the way along this road, past the fuel station. We'll grab some fuel probably from that tanker and we'll fill the bridge. I forgot to check the time while I was in there. I'm sure we're, we're good. Again, beautiful truck inside. Detail in some of these is just awesome. Dials work, the lights work. The game works fine with the wheel set up to do it as a sim. But I find that when I record, uh, when I have to 
tab out to OBS or, or something like that, the uh, the wheel sort of disengages, and then when it comes back again, we lose feedback. So, control is our chosen method at the minute. Until I can find a fix for that, anyway. Town. over over when you're going to manually do it you want it as close to where the metal is going to spawn as possible so you don't overreach your truck so we don't want to put it in the truck we want to put it on the loading platform and you're out so it's just got a wider footing but that does mean you're a little bit more secure as well with this one. Bring it in a little bit. if it'll twist for us. We do want it somewhat in the in the bed. So we'll take these metal beams, we'll grab those concrete blocks and that should get us our bridge set up.
again, we come past. generous road. There are parts of it where we might have to manage some gears and some traction, but overall pretty nice. Definitely speeds routes up through here. Grab some fuel from the tanker. The fuel, what are we at? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're pretty low, so yeah, good job. Good call, good call. suddenly got dark, so not suddenly got dark, it's been night for a while, it suddenly got a lot darker, so I'm guessing that's the, the darkness before the morn. Once we've got this dropped off, we'll check the time. Drop the cargo off, metal beams. And that's why we had to go back and get the metal beams, because metal beams go in first. And then the blocks. And that's another 1800 and 260. We're up to 11,000, which is nice. So we are now level 5. We need. We need quite a, quite a few more XP points to uh, reach that level six that we need. So time is five o'clock. We might have time to get ourselves set up for our next jobs, so we'll try and do that. Now, historically, I've always 
well, I've always played so I can sell my trailers, but I've always sold this trailer. I think this was going to come in handy at some point. I'm going to try and use that again. But we are going to leave that there. We are going to leave this here as well for now. And we're going to jump with the GMC. Because we need to get positioned. Not got long. So we'll do what we can to get ourselves where we want to be and what we want to be doing. Would be nice just to get some either some all wheel lock, all wheel drive, or some dip lock. Give it a little wiggle every now and then. It just raises you up a little bit so that you can get that traction. If you go too much, you sort of grind down because you haven't got enough power to get up the uh, the mounds that you're creating. A little wheel wiggle every now and then. I thought she was at a point then. I thought we were going to have to get the winch out. rear wheels out of the grooves of where we've driven before find a bit of traction there it is Ooh, a little bit early on the gear not quite as safe as I thought we were imagine trying to pull those previous trailers with this Would not happen. We've got a little bit of momentum now. So much spin, so much slip. I bet this is bringing us up to time, isn't it? to get into town either way so it's sort of got to happen
Man, I can't wait to get some good trucks. <laughs> dear, dear, dear. Yeah, we only just brought it back to where we got it from, but we needed to bring it all the way back to get some fuel to put in the fleet. And I knew we needed the fleet to pull the other trailers. Got ourselves some tarmac here. Sometimes they pull easier when they're just on the winch and when you've got them attached. Which is insane. that's where we're going to leave it today that's going to be as far as that goes this morning um yeah it's 10 past eight so we'll stop the clock hopefully you've enjoyed that one been quite a productive one we finished off collecting our lookouts we finished the drainage task we recovered the little ck for the farm and we've cleared the uh, fallen power line and we've also built our mountain bridge so we're just getting our logistics set up we want to get the fuel in town i need to get the um, maintenance trailer in town just so we've got a hub as we're passing through doing all our jobs we can just sort of keep topping ourselves up and fixing ourselves and then we'll uh, get stuck into uh, building some more bridges and clearing some more roadblocks so hopefully you've enjoyed this one if you have big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there you guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.